Right now, we're standing in the Everglades. It's the largest tropical wetland in the United States, and it's an incredible diverse habitat. This ecosystem is home to more than 2,000 species of plants and animals. Known as the River of Grass, the Everglades begin at Lake Okeechobee and flow south through cypress swamps, sawgrass marshes, and mangrove forests before spilling out into Florida Bay. This is peat soil, unique to the Everglades, and it functions to capture carbon from the atmosphere and store it. It's one of the most important features of the Everglades and something that we work hard to protect. Natalia Aguirre is a scientist with the Everglades Foundation, one of many groups working to restore and protect this iconic wetland. At the end of the 19th century, as people started moving to South Florida, they started agriculture, building roads, cities, and all of that diverted the natural flow of the Everglades. Decades of human development drained the Everglades, polluted its waters, and threw its delicate ecosystem off balance, impacting many plant and animal species along the way. That's when we started realizing that all of this water is connected and that something needed to be done to restore this ecosystem.